Domain users can request a certificate from the Enterprise Certificate Authority for any of the available templates which are configured for enrollment. Certify can query LDAP in order to retrieve templates which allow domain users to enroll. During execution the certificate authority name will be discovered. For the user template certificates are valid for one year and domain user have enrollment rights by default. Since the certificate authority and the template have been identified, certified can be used to request a certificate from the certificate authority for the current user. The certificate and its private key will be displayed in PEM formatted block of text. The exported certificate needs to be converted in PFX format in order to be compatible with Rubius and imported into the certificate store. The next step is to use Rubius in order to request a ticket granting ticket from the Kerberos Key Distribution Center for the enrolled user. The location on the disk where the certificate is stored needs to be specified in the certificate password. Now that the ticket has been passed into the memory, the NTLM hash of the current user can be recovered. The ticket will be in the form of Base64. This is due to a feature which was developed by Microsoft to allow applications which are connecting to network services and don't support Kerberos authentication to use NTLM as an authentication mechanism. Kekio can interact with the Privileged Attribute Certificate which is an extension to Kerberos tickets that contains useful information about user privileges including the NTLM hash.